Hey guys, myself Rakesh and welcome back to my channel. Today our topic is how do you read email body, subject and sender using the UiPath Gmail API automation. First of all, let me run a workflow which I have done which is supposed to read the body, subject and the sender and then we are going to learn how this can be achieved. Okay. So first of all, let me show you the email, uh, uh, the mailbox, right? Here you can see there are multiple emails, couple of emails. I have sent it from my own mailbox to own self. Okay. And there are a couple of emails I have sent it from another email address. So now there are a lot of emails. I would like to know who has sent it. What is the subject in that email and what is the body in that? So this email does not have a body. So it should show me a blank. So how this is working, let's first see the demo. Let me quickly run this and see if the workflow can fetch the details what we need. That is the goal and objective of this video. So let's see that. Okay. Let's give few seconds for it to start. Okay, so the automation has started. You can see on my taskbar. Okay, now you can see the very first email that is there in my mailbox has come from the same mail ID test trackish 87 for you at gmail.com. Okay, then it should read the subject line which is test 1 to 3. So you can see it is reading test 1 to 3. Then it should read the body. This is a test email from UiPath Studio, right? Likewise, it will continue to read. And we can control how many emails we would like to read or we would like to read the entire thing. So how this is actually achieved, we need to learn. Okay. So let me delete um, the workflows and let me teach you how this can be done. Now the very first step, right? What is the step one to achieve this goal is to you need to set up the Gmail API and install Gmail Google Workspace. Google Workspace activity. Now you will say Rakesh, where do I find this? So I have already created a, created a content on which you can go to my channel automate with Rakesh. And these are the two different API setup, right? What is API? How do you set up in Gmail? All these details around the Google Workspace I have given in this video. And how do you send email? How do you create the OAuth, right? All the secret keys and everything I have in detail I have explained. So you are very, if you are very new, you must watch these two videos first and then continue with this video because this one are two different topics which I have already taught in these two videos, API setup, API Gmail, send email. So in this, you will get an understanding. How do you configure your UiPath studio to work with your Gmail, right? So please do watch these two videos. So once you have watched it, then we should continue. Now, what is our second step? Our second step, we need to use an activity to read Gmail. Okay, so how that can be achieved? Let me show you. First of all, you need the very first activity. Let me increase this size. Okay, so the very first activity that you need is G Suite application scope, which I have already explained in, in those two videos and how do you configure their properties to achieve the Gmail API automation I have explained in that video. Okay, so how to enter the client ID, how to set the auth client, client secret, everything I have explained in that video. Okay, so if you have not watched, please do watch that, then you should continue. If you have already watched, there are around, I see, today there are around uh, uh, 599 people, 800 plus people around the world have already watched it. So those people who have already watched these two videos, then we should continue. Okay, so I need to have a read Gmail activity, right? So where is that activity and what is that activity? Let's see that. Go to the activity panel. Okay. And in the activity panel, you should ensure in the filter option, the show category should be checked. That is where you would find it or else you can type it if you know the name. Otherwise, you can just minimize everything. Go to available. And then here you have something called integration. Okay. Integration. Go to integration. And then uh, if you do not see that, that means you have not installed the package. So I have explained in that two videos. And here, uh, you have something called under the Gmail, right? Under the Gmail, you have something called get mail message. So simply drag and drop this message. 
so because this activity is inside g suite application scope and we have already configured our g suite application scope to gain access to the email that we have provided right so because we have already set this this get mail message activity will simply work now it has got certain format okay what i'm going to do i will go to the properties i'll go to the properties of get mail message and here the search expression what is written i am going to remove at the moment for this objective i am going to remove i would like to entirely read the my mailbox i don't want to put any condition from this person from that person anything that is there i would like to read in this video so i am going to remove the expression okay so expression has been removed you don't have to put the email id because already this activity is inside the g suite application scope it is already anyways accessing it so i will leave that blank that's a optional property now how do i uh, how do i really uh, get this mail mails that are available in my mailbox is by writing an output for this activity so let's create a variable and simply create a uh, variable name let's say i am going to say emails what is the variable name emails just to keep it slightly different i am going to say emails okay m capital so now uh once the uh, the variable with the same name email already exist okay let me use that variable otherwise okay because last time i have i've just deleted that right so the variables are still there so here if i highlight this activity the email variable is there and what kind of a email variable it is ui path g suite models dot gmail message okay this is the activity uh the data type of the variable okay so simple activity is done the first with the very first step is to use the read gmail activity or here it is known as get mail messages okay the actual activity name is get mail messages okay this is our second step now now what this activity is doing this activity is reading all the emails that is there because there is no condition i have provided in that activity so that that's why it will be reading all the emails how do i restrict to read only the first three emails okay to do that i am going to click on properties of this activity and here i can here in the max result i, I can say 4 5 3 let's keep it to 3 okay max results i am saying 3 so it is going to only pull three the top three emails there in my inbox okay now after that i need to loop through those emails so it's a collection of emails right three emails will come in that variable and i need to loop through that email now to loop through you can simply use a for each okay so for each uh, for each email activity is also there we will simply use a normal for each activity here and here i am going to write the variable which we have created which is your emails okay so this variable so once uh, uh, there is a uh, there is an improvement that has happened for each now i have entered the variable and the variable has a data type if i go to properties you can see the type argument for the for each activity is automatically taken from the variable type okay very good that is wonderful now i need to read what is my intention to read the email body subject and sender right okay so for that let's use three message boxes let's understand how i can fetch those information so i'll use one message box first and here i'm going to simply write let's say item dot body if i'm writing item dot body what would happen it is going to fetch the body of the email okay if i want to fetch the sender let me keep it at the top so if i have to fetch the sender same thing item because we are inside the loop so i am going to say item dot and uh, here you not type sender okay you will type from okay from for the sender name for the sender email address okay from then uh, let me copy paste and what is the third goal we have uh, to read this uh, subject right okay subject so i am going to say item dot subject the moment you put dot there are multiple different property that you yourself can see okay the moment you uh, write a dot after item you will see it will auto populate with lot many different properties of that item variable so here you can see bcc body body html body encoding body cc who all are there in the cc uh, from uh, which folder header lot of things you know lot of things we can uh, do with this activity now we will just you know restrict ourselves to the minimum goal of achieving the body subject and sender 
so here what i'm going to say i'm going to say item dot subject item dot and then type subject okay select the subject and we are done now if i run this automation you will see this automation first of all which what is the very first activity in this uh, workflow this one right g suite application scope so first of all it will authenticate if your uipa studio is allowed to access my email or not okay so yeah it will start at any time all right so how is your preparation going on hope you guys are going through all the contents that is there on my channel and please do subscribe do not forget please do support me what i am trying to teach you please do support me by subscribing subscribing to the channel so okay so the g suite application scope is executing now so now it has verified me um, the your password it has verified now it is get mail message activity is executing it has executed now it is looping through that email which is a array of emails and from the first data it's going to give me okay your first email is from test rakesh 874 so is is that correct yeah so this is from my test email address okay now the uh, then we said body right then it is saying this is a test email from your past today is the body okay so these are the existing emails which were there which were there in my inbox i'm just reading it now and the subject line is test123 so the first email all the contents we have got now to loop through the second one right then the loop will start again and the next next one it is showing me so the next one is from rakesh kumar behra and this is my email address and uh, then it is going to read the so the uh, body is blank so it is saying blank now the subject line should say hello Okay, so you got it right. So I'm going to stop it here. So that is how you would be configuring if you follow the steps, right? So th what was the third step? Uh, you know, uh, loop through and get specific content, right? Simply we have to write item dot body item dot uh, subject item dot from. Likewise, we can get all the required details. So I hope uh, we have met the objective of this video. and i want you to try that and anybody who is able to do that and able to read the details please do let me know that you have done it just comment yes i i was able to do it or done something like that okay so thank you guys for watching it we are going to meet once again in our next content till then please stay tuned please do subscribe to my channel because um, on my channel i try to upload lot of contents that would help you in some of the other way right once your um, once you have the basics clear you will be able to build complex automation so i will i will try to put small small bites of information which is definitely going to help you in your long term projects and if you are learning ui path so thank you guys please do stay connected with us do uh, subscribe to the channel and do give it a like to all our contents thank you guys we are going to meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye